All right, now we're going to go over how to write equations in slope-intercept form from two points. So remember, y equals mx plus b is our slope-intercept form. I'm also going to use point-slope form in this lesson, which is y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So we have two equations in this, uh, two points in this first example. First thing I want to do is label them as x1, y1, x2, y2. And we're going to find the slope. So remember the slope formula, we subtract the y's on top, so negative 4 minus 2, and we subtract the x's on bottom, so 2 minus 4. We simplify that, the top would be negative 6, the bottom would be negative 2, which simplifies to a positive 3. So there's our m value. The next thing we're going to do is actually plug in these values to point slope form. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this first point right here, just because it's already labeled and it has um, two positive values, which will make the math easier for me. So we'll do y minus y1 is 2, and then our m value is 3, x minus x1, which is 4. Now we have it in point slope form, but we need to go ahead and put it into slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So we distribute here, and then we'd have no change to the left side. The right side would be 3x minus 12. And then if I want to get the y by itself, I need to move the negative 2 to the other side. So I'll add the 2 to both sides. And we should have y equals 3x minus 10. And there's your equation in slope-intercept form. Let's try that one more time. So remember, uh, point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m, x minus x1. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to start with point-slope and finish in slope-intercept. First thing we do is we label our points x1, y1, x2, y2, and we find the slope. We subtract the y's on top, so this would be negative 4 minus negative 1, and then subtract the x's on bottom. 2 minus 0. If I simplify that, I would end up getting a th negative 3 on top and a positive 2 on the bottom. So overall, it's a slope of negative 3 over 2. Then we're going to go ahead and write our equation in point slope form, which is this one. I'm going to use the first point. You can use either one, but since the first one has a 0 in it, that'll be easier for me to work with. So we start in point slope form, y minus y1, which is negative 1. So subtracting a negative would turn it into a positive 1. Equals our slope, which is negative 3 over 2, x minus x1, which is 0. Now, in order to write our final answer in slope-intercept form, I want to get rid of the parentheses. So I'm going to distribute, nothing changes on the left side, and we should have negative 3 over 2x, and then negative 3 over 2 times 0 is 0, so I'm not going to write anything there. And then if I want to get rid of this, minus, this plus 1 here, I'll subtract 1 from both sides. Technically, we do have that 0 right there, right? So we'd have y equals negative 3 over 2x minus 1. And that is our equation in slope-intercept form.